Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, traders. This is your weekly recap. Week ending Friday, the 24th of August. I'm going to have a check on the Dow Jones and also the A or XAO on the Australian market. Right now, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average daily chart. And we can really see what's happened over the week. It really has gone sideways and ended up to the downside. Now, if we look at a weekly chart, this is a weekly chart. You can see what happened last week. It was really basically overall sideways compared to last week. Now you can see it just really is, uh, shall we say, tired of going in one direction. And as we can see, that from my last video I said that if the, if the Dow can start breaking above the 9,500 mark, it's probably going to have a run back up to the 10,500. It failed there. It failed to go up and now it's turned around and go back down. It's still hovering around the 8,500 mark. So that might be a key, key support level there. I don't know. What I do know is that I think we have seen the worst of the downside. And uh, I personally do think that. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be any more downside coming. But what I'm saying here is that I think with all this severe cracking, big down day, big down day, big down day, I think we've actually seen the worst of it. Um, again, it doesn't mean we can't have another couple of 400 point down days in the Dow. You know, there's the seven, 800 point um, down days through here we've had. I personally think that that's over and done with. And we're just sort of consolidated now. And I reckon from 6 to 12 months time, we'll be back in a nice bull run, um, you know, and forgetting about this, 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 uh, quote tragedy um, in the market so that'd be something to keep an eye on let's go have a look at the XAO the XAO actually finished down now as you can see if I just go back one day and all you can see now is up to Thursday if I just draw a a, uh, a trend line you can see that how the market's been bouncing once twice and now it actually all, it just stopped right on there I said I said in the last video that if the market can bounce up and break past this double top, this sort of uh, neckline here, that we're going to have a nice run back up to the upside. If the Dow breaks above its um, its level two, it failed to do that, and we also then got that on Friday. It actually broke past it. Now it broke past it and broke down severely. It had a nice big down day. So that tells me that it's trying to push down, but there's some major, major support levels coming around right now. And I don't think personally we're going to have an, a nice down week. I think we're going to have a bit of a turnaround week um, looking at, at the market here. So um, I don't think that uh, just be doing, just don't be scared. Don't be fearful of the market right now. This is the best opportunity right now to get into the market. This is the best chance right now to have a look at the market and see where we really are going. So what I'm saying here is that getting get educated, get a mentor and coaching, come into my, my training room and I'll show you exactly the, the, I'll show you the, exact the trade you should be looking for um, and when you should be looking for it. Right now I believe we're around some major support levels and I reckon now once again going through 6 to 12 months time we will be in a bull market. We'll be a nice little sort upward of trend and we were forgetting about what's happened here. So really overall the market went sideways on the XAO all ordinaries and the Dow Jones. Basically sideways but slightly as we can see here. Um, you can see it's actually nice slightly down through there. Now the one thing that we should look at here on the Dow Jones is let's look at the Dow Jones here. We can actually see that we had what we have is a nice triangle pattern going through here. Okay, not a bit of a nice triangle pattern going through there. And we can see that from yesterday, if I go back and remove yesterday, we can see that if I just draw a trend line from the bottom and draw it through the upside, we can see that it was all holding into this, this sort of little um, pennant or triangle pattern. Whatever you're going to call it, it's a bit of a triangle pattern squeezing up. So what actually happened is it came together, it broke down, and then it broke down below it, but it ended up coming back above it and closing inside it. But the next day actually closed below it. So that might be an interesting pattern to see, okay, it's trying to push down here. But I think overall consolidation week, if not a consolidation week, I think we'll end up on the higher side for this week uh, um, looking forward. So please enjoy yourself. Please have a good time. And uh, please make sure you come and check us out in the trading room. You will not regret it. Bye for now.
trade in the stock market is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee your profit from the information provided. The information in these videos is meant for educational purposes only. That being said, I've been trading the market profitably for many, many years. So please, do your own homework and make sure you look after your current financial situation.